Today in Deep Woken, I will become Aizen. If you love no attunement medium and want to spice things up in your playstyle, you should try out this Vision Shaper medium build. Vision Shaper is definitely a super good oath right now because you are able to boss rate as long as your realm is up. Even without realm, your clone basically puts you in a situation where you can 1v2 somebody without worrying about hitting your teammate. It's infinite pressure. Just summon your clones and spam all your moves. Like this video right now if you want to see more Deep Woken videos. Okay, so before we get started on this build, I'm going to show you the best possible version of this build right now. I don't actually go this version in this video, but trust me, you want to go this version right here. I'll leave the link in the description down below. You still want to watch the entire video though to see what stats I rush into because that's also super important. So how I put my stats in the early level stays the same, except this time I rushed 65 willpower. With this build, you want to rush into 85 willpower after you get your fortitude up. Now, the reason why you want 85 willpower is so that you can get Heretic Sutra and Shared Misery. If you don't know how to get Heretic Sutra, just look up a YouTube video on it. All you have to do is go down to floor one of layer two. Have somebody send you down with the light hook by talking to Claris because you can't physically talk to her until you're power 15. I was still having fun with my version of the build, but this is definitely the better version of this build, especially if you want to do more damage. All right, anyways, I am going to be rushing 50 fortitude first because you really don't need the intelligence talents. You're only going intelligence for all the dead gods. So if all the dead gods show up as your last level, which it should because rares always will pop up, then you're fine. You want to rush fortitude first though, so that you get all of the fortitude rares out the way so that when you do end up getting the requirements for dead gods um you'll already have all the rares out the way that you picked up so that's what we're gonna do here rush 40 fortitude first not 40 my fault you want to rush to 50 fortitude first then focus on your willpower then you go intelligence last that's the order that you want to go fortitude willpower then intelligence and then along the way too, your card order it doesn't really matter just pick up the cards that i already listed in the beginning of the video that you must have and then you also want to burn any rares that you don't want for example loot skipper if you don't want loot skipper don't care about it just burn it and then everything else you want to just pick up all the rare talents that you need so that they don't pop up on your way to getting dead gods by the time you actually do get dead god as a rollable rare all right so i am now level eight here are my stats i'm gonna go through every talent i got everything i wanted already so this is actually pretty good you can copy everything else though you can see right here i actually did go shoulder bash as a mantra i'm gonna replace that later don't worry about it the only reason why i have shoulder bash is so that i could void walk okay i need a void walk earlier on and shoulder bash is just another move i can use when i'm fighting people i might even keep it actually because it is a mobility move but yeah, here are all the talents I got so far. And then I'm just going to continue going into the intelligence tree. From here on out though, I will just show you every roll that I get. So let me go ahead and max out my intelligence to 40 real quick. All right, here are my level 9 cards. Perfect flash. I'm just going to take it. Um, I Actually, you want Ether Conduit because you can get perfect flash later anyways. Ether Conduit actually popped up for me. That's actually good. Ether Conduit is one of those talents that won't pop up after you shrine, so you definitely want it. And then I'm just going to roll two here. Um, you can get Reinforce in this build, by the way, if you want to. Reinforce is definitely an option, but I'm not trying to, you know, reinforce every single time for that damage boost. Just know the option is there to use Reinforce, though, if you don't want to use Taunt on your build. And I'm just going to go into Erudition. All right, so this is going to be my last level now. I'm just going to put 10 more into intelligence, and then I'm going to actually just read a weapon manual here, see if I can get my medium weapon up. Probably not, yeah. I'm going to have to void walk for that. I'm going to go ahead and buy a dumbbell real quick. Yes, sir. One strength here, and then I'm going to need ankle weights here. I'm going to put one into agility because my race actually gives me a free two agility, so... Put one into agility here so i get it after shrine and then i need one charisma real quick and there we go so now all i have to do is get 10 more intelligence and then you can put the other stat points into whatever you want so that you can level up all right my last level before i shrine let's see what we get here ever-changing ages i actually like this some people don't but i mean like i like it when are you ever going to fight the avatar hardly ever in my opinion but dead gods that's what we needed everything else really doesn't matter anymore like i said again 
All right, let's go ahead and spawn this here. And I'm just going to go ahead and pick up Eureka. There we go. Okay. And then, obviously, I will roll two here. Okay, I just realized it doesn't matter. I'm going to show off my name right now. <laughs> go ahead. Look at it, man. I don't care. I'm not going to use my face cam anymore. You can actually change your name at the barber shop. So when it's all said and done, I'm just going to change my name. Y'all not for to catch me slacking, boys. All right, I'm going to remove my face cam now, though, obviously, because you probably don't want to see my stupid face anymore. But another thing is, it was just super annoying having to move my face cam up every time I wanted to show y'all the stats. But here are my stats now, okay? And I'm going to Shrine of Order real quick. This build too, it's one of those try-hard min-max builds, honestly. I'm going to take the Bomb Talent quest too for that 5 extra health. So, yeah, let me just go up here real quick. Shrine of Order, yes, Sursky. There we go. Now, if you want to be a try-hard you want to go ahead and get your charisma all the way up okay it's a 55 so you can get vision shaper as fast as possible if you don't know how to get vision shaper just look up a youtube video on it that's what i'm gonna do though but before i do that actually yeah i'm just gonna get up to 55 charisma real quick before i do that though i'm just gonna go ahead and do the bomb quest real quick for this quest all you have to do is clear out the mind seekers pretty simple okay you get family recipe now and then after family recipe, you actually want another talent that I will pick up later. The talent is going to be called Pocket Bombs, okay? So, I'd advise you right now, if you have a guild base and a mystic in it, to go into that tree. What I'm going to do now is just Void Eye here, and then uh, talk to Mystic. The path I want to go is going to be, I want to sabotage others, so let me just go ahead and do that real quick. I sabotage others. That's the tree you want to go into. And you only want the one that gives you five health. So once you get that, you can spec out of that tree. You don't want any other bomb talents. Unless you genuinely like making bombs, then I guess go crazy. But all right, I am going to get Vision Shaper now off camera. Like I said, again, all you want to do now is just rush your charisma until you get to 55 charisma. All right, hopefully I'm lucky and I get the bomb talents that I need here. Pocket bombs. Yep, this is the one. Um, I don't want carnivore. I'm just gonna burn this real quick and then I'm just gonna pick up pocket bombs here five health. Yep Okay strong stern Charge return. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to that's good And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up padded armor here. That's gonna be nice And then I'm gonna fold here if I don't get what I want Oh, never mind. Steel scales. Yep. I will take steel scales. I'll have to pick up strong stern later, though. I think it's one of the rares I don't want, actually. So I'm going to check it out real quick. All right. Let's see what we get here. Level 12. Prismatic cast, golden tongue. I'm going to need like all of these, man. You know, <laughs> let me free swift rebound here because prismatic cast should show up next level. Anyways, next set of cards. I meant, yeah, it's going to show up. There we go. Whispers. Um, I need Taunt to show up. So what I'm going to do here is burn these two, right? Gaze and Sing, yeah. Gaze and Sing. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Revenge here because I need it anyways. And now I just need four more Charisma so I can go and get my Vision Shaper. And then afterwards, I will just spec probably 30 into medium so that medium mantra starts showing up. And then after that, I will actually go into 40 strength for the strength talents that I need. And this is why you go autodidact because now I can just put all my points into medium without having to go to golems and spamming parries on them. There we go. <laughs> we get our next power up before I even go get vision shaper, which is nice. Um, I'm going to pick up thresher claws here damn i have so much to pick up i'm just gonna pick up thresher claws here and then uh see if i can get these chaotic charm to show up tough love chaotic charm yeah let's just go ahead and pick this up worry about getting dazing finisher real quick i'm also gonna pick up safety dance here just so that risky moves doesn't pop up for me and then we're going to vitality there we go okay 
I'm gonna make my way to get Vision Shaper now just because I do have all the requirements for it. If you don't know how to get Vision Shaper, just look up a YouTube video. All I'm gonna do is go to Alita, give her the Dark Feather, go to the Trainer, Dark Feather, and then I already have Void Feathers, okay? Luckily, I have some people who can easily give me Void Feathers. If you're doing all of this solo, well, good luck. I don't recommend getting Vision Shaper at level 13 solo because them owls might destroy you all right a little change of plans here i'm actually gonna go ahead and max out my strength at golems before i go to um ministria for vision shaper because it's better if i just max out the strength here so i don't have to worry about it anymore because i'm going to the depths later so it'd be counterproductive if i was to get vision shaper and then having to come back all the way to etrus to do these golems and then I have to sell all the way back to the East Luminate to start void walking. So for now, I will just keep doing this until I get 40 strength. All right, let's see what cards we get here. We got a lot of cards. Wyvern's Claw. I'm going to need those. I'm going to need actually all of these right here. But for now, I'll just pick up Tough Love. Going to get Daisy and Finisher as soon as possible. There we go. Lasting Charisma. Whispers, medium weapon combat mantra. Hopefully, this is the ones I want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and burn rapid punches here. Save my freeze. Masses floors. Yep, I'm gonna need that. Yes, yeah, Sersky. I need six more strength. So let me just go ahead and parry on this golem real quick until I get my strength. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and level up again, just cause I can. There we go. Level 15. Let's see here. Showstopper showed up for me, so I'm just going to pick that up. Super important. I think I need one more Charmcaster talent, and then Dazing Finisher should show up here. So let's go ahead and pick up more Owl Booster. See if it shows up. Yeah. This is the one. Yep. Dazing Finisher. Yes, yeah, Sersky. And I'll just go into Erudition here. Look at that, man power 15 and we only done like two void walks off camera i didn't want to show it to y'all because they were like super boring it was just base combat so i'm gonna start getting this build online though so that we can start void walking this really goes to show though man you can do a lot in deep Boken before you even do void walks for real i still think void walker is like a nice path because without those two void walks i did in the beginning my life would have been uh a lot what is it called it'd be a lot more tedious to make these builds because i'd have to sail the etrus not etrus but i have to sail the Arishia to fight these annoying mobs right here when i can simply just do a void walk for my first few levels so void walker it's still it's still good i need to camp around ministria too by the way until i get a vigil's cloak since the vigil's cloak does look like aizen's cloak i had to camp here for a bit before i even do alicia so let me see. Is that a chest up there? Or am I tripping? That's probably a guild thing, yeah. Hopefully this is an event. I don't think this is an event, but we'll see. Yeah, this does not spawn a chest, sadly. So I'm gonna have to wait until an event spawns. Oh, here we go. Here's a song seeker I can kill real quick. First try visuals cloak, please. Oh my god, he just fell down. Oh my god. It's a blessing. We got a Cloak of the Winds. Yes, sir. But that means I need to go back to Orishia to get the 10 Aerosaur. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let me get Vision Shaper real quick before we do all that. It's been a while since I've done her, but I do have the quest pulled up on my second monitor. So let's go ahead and kill this Song Seeker real quick so he doesn't get in the way. 
Use a mantra. Why is she sitting like this? Okay, I was about to say, yo. All right. Master's Flourish. There we go. Now I have to pick a cat that doesn't have purple eyes. Okay. Here we go. And then I had to find the one with purple eyes after this one. So, yeah, this is a pretty simple quest. You get a good chest afterwards. That was exaggeration, by the way. You get like one of the most midi chests ever. Where's she at? What's going on? Oh, here we go. Okay, purple eyes. Purple eyes. Oh my god, I gotta do this fast before I get kicked off. Okay. See? This chest is horrible. All I have to do now is go down to the depths and talk to that one dude, and then we should be good. But before I do that, I'm gonna craft my Vigil's Cloak real quick. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'm good for the Widow, bro. I'm gonna have to cheese this real quick, man, you know? <laughs> You're gonna have to cheese this real quick. Uh, hopefully the Widow's already done. Oh my god, relax. Hold up. This Widow gives you a lot of sanity, which is okay to me because I have unfazed. It doesn't matter. The hunt, yes. Here, let me just unlock this real quick, man. What the heck? Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh. I've done this like five times already, and it's still cool every single time how Vision Shapers obtained this whole maze. Look at this. This might be the screenshot. Nah, this can't be the screenshot of the video because I don't even have my brown hair yet. Where am I? I accept. There we go. Vision Shaper, yes, sir. All right. Let's go ahead and max this bad boy out. What the heck? There we go. I think you need like five feathers, right? Something like that. Okay, yep. You need five void feathers to max out Vision Shaper. I'm gonna hit layer two now so I can get some dye packets and actually look like Aizen for real. All right, I did one layer two run. As you can see, I made my eyes black now just so that I could fit the oath aesthetic. Well, you know Aizen's eyes are actually brown but the thing is, my Vision Shaper aura would come off as brown too, which looked like super ugly. It looked like I got poop coming out of my eye, bro. Like, come on, man, you know? And I didn't want to have the purple because it just looked weird. The actual purple aura coming out of the eyes is cool with Vision Shaper, but it just looked weird having purple eyes as eyes in. So, yeah, man. Um, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and choose Tears of Ending Kite. Now, you can go Umbral Knight 2 as Aizen or Providence Thorns. I think Providence Thorns is honestly, like, really Aizen-esque. But I'm going Tears of Endekite just because Shadow Katana Crit with Tears of Endekite is just broken. And I haven't used it yet myself, so I want to use it for the first time just to see how broken it is and stuff. What I will do, though, is level up one time real quick, and then I'm going to go ahead and Mystic uh the duelist tree here because i do want the strength talents to show up for me and here's a charco honestly if i kill this charco here oh crap lionfish i'm gonna kill the charco and lionfish i think i can get my bell here too because i was doing a bit of uh duelivins Okay, this server's a bit laggy, so I'm kind of scared that I'm going to get kicked off. And it's taking a while for me to kill this Sharko too, I ain't going to lie. Please, just die already, buddy. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to kill this Lionfish too. And I'm going to do something risky here. I'm just going to bell check myself <laughs> by jumping off the, uh, the thing before I go up to the trial. So hopefully I get my bell too. Okay, I should be able to level up now, hopefully. If not, we're going to have to hit a few more mobs here. There we go. Let's see what we get. Unwavering Resolve. I'm going to need that. If I can get Conditioned Runner this life too, that'd be good. But I'm going to go ahead and pick up Speed Demon now too. And then, please. Okay, I need Taunt. I'm just going to go ahead and burn. Uh... I'm gonna burn strong left here, actually. 
And then they should stop offering me support mantras once I pick up taunt. So that's good. Let's go ahead and go into the nimble blade tree. I need fast blade. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is super risky, but I don't care. I do not care at all. Oh my god. I didn't even get knocked from that. Hopefully, like, no random jellyfish just spawns here. Knowing my luck, that would happen too. Let's see. Come on, bell. Bell me. Oh my god. Just knock me, bro. Can I get a bell? Yes, sir. I like it. Oh my goodness. Why are they always giving me these sorry options, man? If they give me counter bell, I will be happy. Like, that's all I need. Just give me counter bell and I'm good. Or blood scorch. I don't care. Blood scorch or counter bell and I'm straight. I'll even take Jar of Souls. Even though, I mean, what move does Aizen really have that resembles that? Probably nothing, I'm going to be honest. But I'm not trying to go back into layer 2 to reroll my bell again. Please, just give me something good, man. Okay. Let's get it. Preservation. Conjure a protective energy. Well, that sounds so trash. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to live with gravity field. Sadly. Even though I don't need it. Because I, I gotta reroll this. Hold up. I know what to do. I'm gonna go into layer 2 and I'm getting a good bell. I don't care. I'm actually gonna shrine of chance some cards right now to see what I don't want real quick here. Okay, I don't really need triathlete. So let's replace this real quick. Hopefully I get what I want here. Yep, fast blade. I'll take it. And then I'm also going to shrine. Where is it at? Polite Awakening. See if we get spinning swordsman from this. No, we don't. Okay. Um. Let me go ahead and uh, do it again real quick. Spinning swordsman. Yep. There we go. Okay. Just use my knowledge on that. Uh, I think that's the only shrines I want. Hold up. I need to go to that one shrine that rerolls my flaw too. Because I can't be having deficient here. I think I can level up right now. So let's go ahead and get our medium weapon up here. This is the beauty of having autodidact, man. Best thing in the world, man. There we go. Let's see what cards. Oh, I forgot a mystic. I'm trolling. But we get wyvern claw here anyways. Oh, wait, I didn't Mystic. I Mystic into the Duelist Dance tree, which is good for us. Duelist Dance, yep. I need to pick up Swift Rebound soon. So, that's probably what I'm going to do here. Because I don't need Concussion. So, let's go ahead and pick up Swift Rebound. There we go. Okay, I'm level 17 now. I can actually re-roll my Deficient Flaw in the Depths. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the depths, go to the statue. And then I have an idol of Yun Shoal in my bank. So I need to go ahead and pick that up real quick to re-roll my bell. And we should be good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get my extra mantra real quick from the library quest. If you don't know how to do this, basically you go to the idol of vigils, go to the librarian. He's going to tell you to do the lost books quest. And then from here on out, it's self-explanatory. You want to make your way back to Etrus. Once you are at Etrus, you're going to do the quest and then you're going to return back to the librarian at Vigils and he will give you a free mantra. So, yep, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And Twin Cleave was the last mantra that I needed. Yes, sir. This is my first time actually using this thing. So maybe it might be good, man. You can faint after landing the first hit. So I think that's going to be the tech anyways, because honestly, why would you want to do the second cleave? It knocks you back. Unless you want to set up for like a revenge or something. I feel like twin cleave into a revenge might work. All right, game. Come on, bro. Don't do this to me. You got to give me something good here, man. You know, where my idol young soul at? Come on. Give me something good. Shard bow. Payback. Is payback? That's that's counter bell, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to need that. I like shard bow too, though, man. You know? <laughs> We about to make a Quincy Eisen video. I'm choosing. Nah, I'm kidding, y'all. I'm going to payback here. Let's see if we get anything good. I think the better one now is the payback beam, though. No? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Apparently, the payback beam is better than 
the payback that I have right now, apparently. But, um, I also want to go ahead and use one of these shrines real quick to replace Shoulder Bash finally and get Flash Draw Strike if I can here. All right, if I can get Flash Draw Strike here, this would be great. There we go. This combo is going to be toxic, by the way, y'all. So if I hit my Revenge, I'm going to Flash Draw Strike immediately. And since I have Insignia Gem on Revenge, trust me, it's going to be toxic, boys. Into the Shattered Katana crit afterwards, too, once I actually do get an SK. Let me go up to the overworld, though, because this ain't no depth progression. Man. All right, so I am capped at XP right now. I'm going to have to do one more Void Walk to uncap my medium, because as you can see, I can't do anything right now. Once I uncap medium, I need Shattered Katana as soon as possible, because this build is not at full power yet until I have Shattered Katana crit. Well, my clones can do the same crit I can, that's when this build gets busted. So, yeah, let me go ahead and grasp here. Um, This dude, Michael, is at Song Seeker. I'd rather fight him. He's a five-star. Let's see if we can get busy, boys. Let's see if we can get busy. Counterbell here. Come here, buddy. Oh shoot! Hold up. He's got the, he's got the deados. Go ahead and do that. Nice. Boom. Oh my god, this server's so laggy, man. Give me some of my clone here. Taunt. Relax. Wrong person, buddy. Go ahead and do that. Nice. You gotta play around your clone when you summon it, by the way, because if you get hit once, your clone disappears. He read that faint. That's crazy. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Nice. We're lucky working this guy right now. Go ahead and do that. Nice. Bro, why is my clone hitting me? Like, relax. Nice. Bro, why is it taking so long to kill this guy? I'm telling you, once I get my Shadow Katana, it's gonna be wraps, boys. There we go. We damn near flawless this dude. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. This build kind of devious. This build kind of devious, boys. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not using my realm, it's because in realm, your clones don't do anything right now. It's a bug where your clones will hit the opponent, but they actually won't take damage from your clones. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the harsh response talent here by going into that dialogue. I already beat the Duke. I keep saying Duke, my fault. I beat the Ferryman, so I should be able to level up now. There we go. I'm looking for harsh response here, and then I'm picking up any rare I can. So let's go ahead and pick up Observation. Harsh response should show up now, I believe. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's burn Chrono. Get harsh response. And Whispers. I don't need Whispers anymore. So I will go ahead and roll two. See if I get anything good here. Stronghold, that's something I want. That's really good. Okay. And kickoff. Kickoff, honestly. Not the worst thing in the world. Especially when I'm void walking. I'll take it. I'm gonna hop servers though, because this server is actually it's not that bad. 100 ping. Like I, anything above 100, I hate, bro. Because spikes are bound to happen. I like playing deep at like 80 ping or below. I don't know what happened, but like the servers have just been trash again recently, and I hate it. Like, I actually hate it, man. Like, they were so good before this update dropped. Ever since this update, the servers became trash again. I don't know, man. It's a never ending cycle of good and bad every time. Oh, here he is. The Star Kindred user, I remember. I'm gonna go ahead and try to sneak up on him. Let's see the server. Okay, the server lag is kind of dying down, but. The spikes are still happening. It sucks, man. This Star Kindred user, he's pretty fast. Hey there, buddy. Welcome to the show. Nope. Don't run. Don't run from me, my boy. Come here. What the heck? He's above. Yo. Is he out? What is going on? Wait. Let me kill this bat real quick. And let me get this guy here, because he just... 
you're going crazy right now. I don't even think he's in my realm. That's the problem. Uh. Okay, we might have just lost this boy. Counterbell. Nice. There we go. No, don't run for me. I'm gonna taunt him too so he can't jump. Oh crap, he got me that ice eruption. Interesting. There we go. Counter all that, nice. Okay, you're just gonna play the parry game, I guess. Like, let me go ahead and faint that real quick. Got him. There we go. I am going to be how many points off of a shattered after this? I'm three points off of a shattered. Four points, I lied. Super close, man. We got to get this shattered, boys. All right, this person is just. I don't even know what this place is. I ain't gonna lie. But hey, buddy, better pay attention. Thank you. I'll take it. I'll take all that counter damage, my boy. Oh, wow. He didn't hit my counter. This server is trash. Nice. We love trash servers, man. Oh, my God. This server is so sorry. And there's a dumb bat here. Are you lagging too? Yes. <laughs> oh, I forgot I have uh I have golden tongue. I need to use golden tongue way more. Okay. I'm trying to faint that second part, but I just can't seem to land the faint on that second part. Okay. Counter bell here, nice. And he's gonna die here. What if I just end him with uh, this? There we go. And he's gonna die to his own burn damage. Yes, Ersky. Oh, wait. I'm stupid. He probably has that damn legendary flame talent. Are you Aizen? Yes. <laughs> Alright, at last. We can finally use the full potential of this build. Yes, Sersky. Um, I'm gonna go to the archive real quick too, so I can upgrade my mantras. I need to max out my master's flourish and my twin cleave and my flash draw strike. So, yeah, these moves weren't even max level yet. This is really gonna be like the full power of this build now, for real. So, um, let's go ahead and upgrade these. Yep, there we go. All level five now. Now. Here's is where things will take a turn. I rather actually get a level four exhaustion strike over a level three revenge. So what I'm gonna do instead of going 40 agility now is go 60 willpower instead. I'm pretty sure I still have enough points for 60 willpower because we have like 33 more points to spare. Yeah. So since we have 33 more points to spare, I'll still be able to get a hundred medium, I believe, and still get 60 willpower. That's what we're gonna do. Like this build is 100% better if you go Heretic Sutra. You definitely need that damage boost, especially when this build is mostly just landing M1s. And then obviously the medium mantras are still going to do damage. It's just that Heretic Sutra would make it even more busted. All right, this is going to be our first challenge, bro. This Seth dude is a contractor, so he's got to be nice. All right, I'm going to Void Realm here. I ain't going to lie, I'm not... I'm not trying to deal with all that, you know, all the accessories, all the goddamn debris in the way. Okay. Nice. Okay. I can't even see, like, the effects in this purple dome. I ain't gonna lie. 
Like, look at that. I couldn't even see his stupid uh, black shadow things. But then again, he can't see my effects either. So, we about to go crazy, cut. Okay. There we go. Counterbelt. Yep, I like that. There we go. Nice. Boom. Oh my god, we're going crazy. We're going crazy, boys. Oh, I knew that. Nice. Okay. And he's dead. Oh my god, wait. This build might be nasty. Yo. Let me find out the Shattered Katana eating kites was doing damage to him because I didn't expect him to drop that fast. All right, I just leveled up here and I probably trolled because I should have missed it. But I do want to just pick up everywhere I can get now because I want Spine Cutter to show up for me anyways. Let's see. Spine Cutter, where you at? You can either take Precise Swing here or Anxious Guard. After landing a critical, your next light attack will have 5% chip damage. I'm just going to go ahead and get Anxious Guard here because that's just broken. I'm also missing out on Condition Runner too. That's something you could also get. But let me roll two here and we are on our way to our last level, which is good. Um, max out health. And let's see. Let me see what tree I can spec into here. So I don't actually have Breathing Exercise on this. You want to go ahead and get it because it is five health. So let me not troll real quick here. Hey, where does dude at, y'all? Oh, there he goes. He's having a hard time fighting these, uh, these mobs here. I counter that, hello? Well, he's just gonna die to that croc. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was actually kind of, uh, kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. All right, I get my last level here. As you can see, level 20, yup. All we need is breathing exercise, at least. Evasive expert, I'm gonna need those. Okay, breathing exercise, yup. That's what we need. And what's our last talent here? Spine cutter, oh my god. I'm getting everything I want today. I'm getting everything. Roll two. And snake oil trash. Let's see, what's our second one? Heavy haul. Uh, trash. Erudition. There we go. Okay. Finally max out the build. I'm going to go into Chime now, though, just to see how this build fares in Chime. Bro, is that the new weapon? Everybody in Chime has the new weapon right now, and it's kind of making me mad, man. Loki is making me mad. Okay. That new weapon is so broken. Oh my god. This dude K1 cooked a little too hard. I ain't gonna lie. And I'm stuck. Okay. There we go. I can just counter it every time. It's free. Okay. That's big damage there. Okay, that's going to be a big damage there. Holy. I couldn't even talk that whole time, bro. I forgot how sweaty Chime is. 
all right so to finish off the build all i'm going to do is get to 60 willpower to get a level 4 exhaustion strike but other than that i'm going to show you everything that i have here here are the talents you can copy everything i'm going to have the build in the description too just so that you guys can see what talents i actually wanted for this build but for the most part i got every single talent i want obviously i can trade in some talents that i got from roll 2 to get something better but for the most part, yeah, I'm satisfied with everything I got this life, as you can see. Mantras, Exhaustion Strike, you want to Blessed Gem on it. It's really good to spam this move. If you want these to last longer, you want to go ahead and stack Eternal Log Stones on it too. But I think 3 Aeon is fine, at least for my play style. Master's Flourish, you want to put a Bloodless on it. I don't know why I don't have a Bloodless. I'm trolling. Put a Bloodless on Master's Flourish, and then you can get 3 Glass Stones on it to make it bigger. But I used to run only two glass stones and I didn't really feel a difference. So just run two glass stones on Master's Flourish with the Bloodless. Revenge, go ahead and put three Rush Shards on it. It's going to make the range insane. Have an Insignia Gem on it so you can use Twin Cleave afterwards. It's broken. The Realm, I only had three Eternal Log Stones on it. And then you want to copy the Multiplying and Magnet Sparks too. Put a Blue Gem. Taunt has an Insignia. Just in case I ever want to do something like a Taunt into a Master's Flourish, it'd be really nice. Flash Shard Strike has a Blue Gem. Now, with three Crystal Lens, it has all the range of the world. You can actually put a Bloodless on this bad boy right here because it still barely takes any ether. Look at this. That's with the Blue Gem. So without it, it's probably going to take like half a bar. And then Twin Cleave, it has nothing. Just put a Bloodless on it. It's good heals. Summary, you can see 478 health. I can definitely get to 500 if I actually had a good health kit. I only have 81. But yeah, talent health bonuses, 45 health. Um... Overall, I like this build. It's pretty solid. It's not like the best build in the world. You saw from that chime match, I was low-key getting torched up by that new weapon. Granted, that new weapon is busted, but I mean, at the end of the day, though, this build is still super fun, and you will be known as Aizen. People were saying Aizen every single time. I Well, not every single time, but I was still getting Aizen reactions sometimes whenever I killed people, so it's pretty cool. I'm out, though, y'all. Let me know who you want me to make next. Have a great day. It is now... Never. Fist of a guy like Rock Lee. Leg weight all can't stop me. Drunken fist at top speed. Eight gates, flow, get pop. D. Hurricane.